Hi! Oh my god, I haven't seen you in such a long time. Um, I, am I gonna be awkward because I haven't done this in a long time? No, let's not. Let's. It's 2024, we are delusional and gaslighting ourselves into being a better, more confident person. <laughs> Okay, hi. Okay, let's just start with comparing my 2023 bullet journal before we jump into the 2024 one because I think I got so much better in this year of making my journals. 2023 has been the first year of me making my bullet journals monthly and sticking to it for a whole year, which thank God because I am kind of bad to sticking to my habits for a long time and this is one of the habits that I've stuck to for a year now. I'm kind of proud of... No, not kind of. I am proud of myself for just stick into it. And I've noticed I've gotten a lot better at this stuff. So yeah, I can't wait to show you my 20 finished 2024 bullet journal. Honestly, my 2023 bullet journal was kind of mm, ugly. Well, it wasn't ugly, but I didn't use it as much because I just didn't find it pleasing to use. I don't know how to describe it, but I just didn't find it so fun to use. As I'm finding my 2024 bullet journal to use, we're in the middle of January and I've been using this journal daily and I've been loving it. So I just can't wait to show you how it turns out at the end. I think I popped off. Okay, enough sucking my own Mm. So if you're new here and you just came for the journal, uh, you are gonna be disappointed because in my videos I talk about the random shit that is happening in my life and I just chit chat with you. I take this as a FaceTime where you're kind of on mute and I'm the only person speaking, which is not narcissistic at all. But yeah, I'm making these videos as kind of a FaceTime because I cannot speak for 10 minutes about my journals. I just cannot find the words. I'm not a chitty chatty person. I'm usually the person who is quiet and listens because I'm an introvert. But yeah, if I just posted this video without talking, I think that would be just boring. So yeah, let's chit chat about my life. What has been happening? Oh my God, it's a new year. Like the whole point of this video is not the start of the year and a new journal for a new year. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised that it's a new year. <laughs> and yeah, if I'm being honest, the new year, new me did not work. I don't know if the wizard of casting that spell missed me, but yeah, the new me did not come when the new year came. For two weeks, I've been marinating like a pickle in pickle juice, honestly. But this week, it's Tuesday when I'm filming this, it's the second day where I've been waking up at 7 a.m. And so yeah, the new year, new me just started now. Well, not now, yesterday, on Monday. For quite a while, I just haven't been happy with myself and happy with what I've been doing because I haven't done shit for a while. I am procrastinating everything I do. I stopped going to the gym. My sleeping schedule was horrible. I just let myself go so much. My sleeping schedule in December was waking up at 2 p.m. then going to sleep at 5 a.m. It was horrible. And I just continued that into the first two weeks of January. In December, I just thought, yeah, I'm gonna be gentle on myself. I'm resting. I'm just taking it easy. And I'm just enjoying myself because a new year will come and then I will get productive and the best version of myself, you know, new year, new me shit. But then January came and nothing changed. I realized that I'm gonna have to put in work, which kind of is very annoying. But fair. <laughs> so yeah, now two weeks into January, I decided that if I'm gonna continue living my life like this, I'm just not gonna be happy and I'm gonna regret it. So yeah, and I heard the smartest quote ever, which is suffer the pain of discipline or suffer the pain of regret. And that honestly hit me like a bullet train. I've been suffering the pain of regret because I haven't posted a video for a while. For you who I promised you that I'm gonna post a moving video, I'm so sorry that I haven't posted it yet. I've just been a raccoon in my cave, honestly just feeling sorry for myself. But the whole point of telling you how my life has been looking for the past month is that now I've turned a new leaf and now I've become a different woman. You know what happened? I bought an Apple Watch. <laughs> Kidding, kidding, kidding. Well, not. I'm not kidding. I just bought an Apple Watch because I thought, yeah, when I bought an Apple Watch, I'm gonna be that bitch. I'm gonna become that bitch who does everything, who wakes up early, who just is, you know, that clean girl, that ambitious YouTuber content creator, you know, being just my best self. But then I bought the Apple Watch and nothing changed. <laughs> so I figured out that for my happiness, there is gonna be an internal motivator, not external, which again is very 
annoying but fair so yeah still buying myself an apple watch it has been like kind of a turning point because that made me figure out that i'm gonna have to put in work and that i nothing's gonna change because i have something new or because the new year is here but i'm just gonna have to decide to put in the work it's just that simple but you know i'm sure that all of you have been in a slump once or twice or maybe like a thousand times in your lives. I feel you girl so much. Oh, I know it's the second day of me being a new year new me girly I already feel much much better and what I've changed now is that I've been waking up at 7 a.m Which if you don't know me that wasn't my personality because I was that person who was just working late and going to sleep Even when I was productive I was going to sleep at 3 a.m Because I was working late and then sleeping in but now I've tried waking up at 7 a.m. First opinion. I'm tired <laughs> I'm already tired. No, I'm just tired because I'm not used to it. I am maybe I'm gonna try it for a week maybe two and then decide if it works for me. I believe that now I'm just tired because I'm not used to it and that will get better. I hope it gets better because if this is my state of being. When I wake up at 7 a.m. I'm not gonna be that person. I'm not, I, can, I can be tired all the time. I also went to the gym yesterday and listen to this. I ran. I ran. Okay, backstory because you probably don't know me, but I am that person who is always saying that I don't understand people who run because I've never enjoyed running. I just never. You know runners high? Don't know her. Never heard of her. For the first time, I think I felt like a little drop, a little puff of runner's high and it felt good. I went to the gym, I went to the treadmill and I just started strutting my stuff. On TikTok I found a girlie who recommended a Rihanna running playlist where the pace of the music just goes up and then you slowly get into running and that worked and I was just feeling like a baddie like a baddie with an apple watch, all black outfit and my sleek ponytail. I felt like the baddiest buddy. So yeah, even though I wasted my first two weeks of 2024, I think 2024 is gonna be my year. And not because of some outside motivators and outside energies. I decided and I am gonna put the work into it and I'm gonna be consistent. This is the hardest thing for me, but is staying consistent. I've never done that. So now I am promising myself and now I'm making you my accountability buddy. Bestie, you have to keep me in check. My goals for this year are to post more videos on this channel ideally come to one video per week then finish all of the classes that I'm taking in my school and staying consistent with gym and going to the gym and just staying healthy so yeah you are gonna be my accountability buddy and you have to I repeat you have to keep me in check if I fall off the wagon bully me no, please, please don't, please don't. I'm, I'm really sensitive. Don't bully me, just nudge me, like little nudge. Just little nudge. Hi Maya, you're a piece of shit. Come post a video. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, don't, don't be aggressive like that. No, I'm not kidding. Tell me I'm a piece of shit. If I fall off the wagon, tell me I'm a piece of shit. Oh wait, but if I forget about this and someone actually says that, if anyone actually said that in my comments, that would make me cry. <laughs> uh, maybe put a pink heart next to it so I know that you mean it well. <laughs> like, you're a piece of shit, love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, please do it. <laughs> no, but I am not gonna disappoint myself. I'm gonna stick to it and if I fail, I'm just gonna get back into it. It's really late in the video to introduce myself, but I'm still gonna introduce myself. If you don't know me, I am Maya and I am a typical Virgo. Every trait that I've heard about Virgos just applies to me. I love to be organized, I love to make trackers, I love planning, organizing, and yeah, that's why I named this channel Typical Virgo. So yeah, hi, it's really nice to meet you. And if you watched any of my previous video, uh, girly bestie, welcome back. Thanks for being here again. Oh my God, I appreciate you so much. In 2024 alongside with my bullet journals and the other journals that I use because I use like three journals at a time I've also tried using a digital planner on my iPad and so I'm trying different techniques I guess you could say of journaling planning and tracking my life because I have to keep track of my life Otherwise, I just get depressed and my anxiety of not having control over my life just deepens and I become a frantic person Who is just all over the place? So now I'm wondering which type of planner do you use or which types of planners do you find the most useful? I think I am kind of of starting to find my way of journaling which suits me the best and that is using a bullet journal for my yearly tracking like you're seeing in this video my future log period tracker gym tracker then for my monthly planning I'm continuing using this journal creating bullet journal spreads for every month like I did in my 2023 bullet journal which suit me the best for my habits tracking for my cleaning tracking monthly calendar and usually I also do a highlight reel which is essentially like an album page of every month where I paste my photos in but then for daily tracking I've started using my iPad for my daily 
daily to-do lists and what I want to do. My daily tasks are always changing, so I have to have a journal where I can just erase and change and switch around. And obviously sticky notes. My table is full of sticky notes all over the place, which is not the most organized thing. But for those tedious daily tasks that I'm not motivated to do, I use sticky notes because the visual cues of ripping it off when I'm done with it, it kind of motivates me more to do that task. <laughs> but I'm always trying new techniques and new ways to journal. So if you have any recommendations of how you journal and if you maybe think I should try it, comment them down below because my brain gets bored so easily. So I have to find new ways and change it up every, not day, but like maybe every week. If my days become too similar, I will get bored and I will stop doing everything. That's why I'm just switching it up all the time. So yeah, comment down below how you journal and let's talk. I love talking to you. You're always so positive in my comments. My comment section has been the most positive space ever. I just love that. And I'm so grateful for every one of you being positive on this channel and in my comment section. I appreciate you so, so, so much. All of the trackers that you've seen in this video, I probably don't have to explain it. Tell me in the comments if I have to explain any of the trackers that you've seen, but the last one might be a little bit confusing. I just have a tracker of my YouTube videos that I post on this channel. That's why the spread is named Typical Virgo, where I'm just gonna keep track of how many videos I post in a year. When I track it monthly, I'm just not that serious with it, but if I see it in a year and I don't post a video for a long time, that's gonna hopefully <laughs> motivate me to post more videos. Oh, maybe I also have to explain that one. The spread that you've seen alongside of my bucket list, where I have just manifesting written on it and the butterflies going up on the side, that spread is basically my wish list, but wish list just didn't look that good as manifesting. So yeah, the manifesting page is basically my wish list where I'm gonna paste photos or write out what I want to buy or have or do. So yeah, this is it for my 2024 bullet journal spread. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe and join my little positive community here on my YouTube channel. Let's talk in the comments and I wish you an amazing 2024 full of happy memories, ambitious goals, which we are gonna achieve. Also tell me in the comments what are your goals for 2024 so I can give you support as well. Let's manifest the best year possible. If you're still here watching my video, I love you so 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 much. I appreciate you so much. Girly, we're gonna make it. This 2024 is gonna be our year, okay? Yeah! So see you in my next video. Bye!